Over 300 tenants at two Toronto condos are holding a rent strike, demanding their landlord respect rent control in the city. CP24's Lindsay Biscaya is standing by with more. Lindsay, tell us more about this strike and what the tenants want to see. Yeah, well, these uh, tenants are striking, as you said, at two different buildings in this area. One of them is behind me, 33 King Street. 22 John is just about a block away. Uh, these tenants say that they have been dealing with absorbent rent increases over the last few years, well above what they say would be uh, classified as normal. Uh, we've been speaking with some of the tenants over the weekend when they were actually holding a rally here. And uh, one claimed that their rent has increased by uh, about 22% over the last 10 years. Another says when she first moved into this building, she was paying about $500 in rent uh, and now pays almost $1,000. So uh, a lot of them saying that they are kind of over this whole rent increase thing. They say it's well above what it should be. They also say that a lot of the amenities that are, they're paying for, uh, they cannot use. They say that the elevators in some of the buildings are broken. They say the pool is closed right now. And this building behind me, uh, they're not allowed to be on their balconies because of repairs currently ongoing. Uh, so they say they're fed up because they are paying for things that they cannot use. Uh, and they're also paying uh, well above what they believe they should be. So they're not paying their rent. Um, what's the landlord saying? How's the landlord reacting? Yeah, well, we have actually heard from the landlord. It's a corporate landlord called Dream Unlimited. And yes, you're right. So a strike uh, for rental units is basically you're not paying your rent at this moment. So Dream Unlimited has said that about 40% of this building is affordable housing. Therefore, it's exempt from above guideline rent increases. They say as for the other 60%, uh, Dream Unlimited says that these rent increases are inherited from a previous owner who was doing a lot of work on these buildings and Dream Unlimited says it's now taken over the building uh, just a few years ago and that it's working to stabilize this rent and working with tenants. Um, but as for the tenants, they're saying also that you know any renovations that are being done, uh, the money should come from the rent that they're paying. They shouldn't have to increase the rent to pay for renovations. So it's a bit of a back and forth here, uh, but Dream Unlimited does say that it is trying to work with these tenants to, to kind of work things out. All right, Lindsay, thank you for that.